Runners are always on the lookout for something that's going to give them that little extra benefit in their training. And in this search for that improvement, runners have been turning towards different forms of compression. But why? How does this compression work? And why is it good for runners and their recovery? So let's find out. What's up runners? Coach Morgan here from The Run Experience. Now, some people may think that compression is a little bit of a placebo effect, but I don't know too many runners who are going to turn down something that gives them that little bit of extra confidence boost in their running. But that pain that we feel days, hours after a run or a workout is due to micro tears in our muscles and connective tissue. And that leads to inflammation. So what this compression gear is actually doing is wrapping around and supporting key muscles. Now this is going to improve circulation, which means you're bringing more oxygen into those key hard working muscles, which means you can recover faster. And with that added circulation, your body is able to flush out that lactic acid and metabolic waste buildup. In short, increased circulation helps reduce the swelling of your muscles and lets them repair more quickly. The most common forms of compression that you'll see amongst runners are things like socks, which are normally going to go up and over the calf, so you're getting that extra circulation in your feet and your calves. And some runners just prefer the calf sleeves, so from the ankle all the way up to underneath the knee, giving your foot a little bit of room to breathe. We also see things like full length pants. So all the way getting those hips, quads, hamstrings, and calves. And as of lately, one of the newer technologies that I've seen with compression are boots. And the brand that I've seen used mostly is the Normatec boots. Essentially, you slip your legs down inside and they each have their own little pocket to go into and these boots inflate. They cover all the way up over your quads, all the way down to your feet. You kind of zip into them. And what this does is uses air as compression. So you can adjust it as much or as little pressure as you want. This can be really beneficial, especially if you're traveling to a race and you have to fly there. That flight back home is a really great time to bust out that recovery gear. Maybe not the Normatec boots, but some form of compression tights or calf sleeves are gonna be really helpful, especially on that flight when we have that extra inflammation from being on the plane. Most of the time we're going to see compression benefiting runners who are doing some longer events, typically above that 10K distance, because we don't really see too much swelling in the body from those shorter races like a 5K or a 10K. And for the purposes of this video, I'm specifically talking about using compression as a form of recovery. There is some research that indicates that in those longer, longer distance races, that using compression during the race is going to help that circulation during it. But in my mind, when we're running, we are circulating blood, right? But it's when we stop running and all we want to do is sit down afterward that that compression really does help that recovery process speed up. But hey, now just remember, I am not saying that using compression gear negates all of our mobility work that we need to be doing to help repair those muscles. Compression should just be used as an extra tool in your mobility and recovery tool belt. Make sure you get that in your brain. Now that I'm done yelling at you, sorry, I had to. But if you need some more recovery tips and you wanna make sure that you are feeling your best, you're recovered and ready to hit your run even harder the next day, go ahead and check out this video. I got right over here. It's all about recovery hacks that you can add into your training and into your routine to make your running even better. So go check it out and I'll see you guys in there.